Today we're going to talk about area of circles. Before we do that, let's review the parts of the circle. In this diagram, the green line represents the radius. The radius goes from the center of the circle to the outside edge. This red line represents our diameter. The diameter goes from one edge through the center to the other outside edge. Your diameter measurement equals two radius measurements. Circumference is the distance around the outside of our circle. In other shapes, it's called the perimeter. Circumference uses two different equations, the first one being pi times the diameter, or you can find circumference by multiplying two times pi times the radius. Area, however, only has one equation, pi times radius squared, where radius squared equals radius times radius. Let's look at our first example. In this example, we have a diameter of five. To find the radius, we have to divide that in half. So half of five is 2.5. So the first step in finding the area of our circle is taking the square of 2.5. So 2.5 times 2.5 is six and 25 hundredths. Remember that we have one decimal place in our top factor, one decimal place in the second factor. So our product has to have a total of two decimal places. Now we take our six and 25 hundredths and multiply that by pi. When we multiply through, remember that our answer is going to have four decimal places because 3.14 and six and 25 hundredths each have two decimal places or four decimal places total. So the area of our circle, the diameter of five units is 19 and 625 thousandths of a unit or 19.6. Our next example is a circle whose diameter is four units. Again, we have to take our diameter and divide it by two. When we divide four by two, we get two. So two squared is four. 3.14 times four is gonna give us 12 and 56 hundredths of a unit. If we were to round this to the nearest 10th, it would round to 12 and 6 tenths of a unit. Now, when we're talking about area, our units are square units. In our last example, we see a semi, we're using a semicircle whose diameter again is four units. So we take our equation for area and we're either good, we're going to multiply it by one half. So we multiply by a half, we also divide by two. So 12 and 56 hundredths divided by two is going to give us six and 28 hundredths units squared. And that is our final example. So to recap, to find the area of a circle, we are going to multiply pi times radius squared and our units are going to be square units or units squared. To find the area of a semicircle, we take our area equation for a circle and divide it by two. 